I think some people are starting to get it. I think they're starting to realize that they have been lied to about absolutely everything. I'm going to show you guys a couple things. See, the, the tactics of the other nations, Psalms 83, have been used for a very long time. We are also the original Celts. You know, we and, and the, the uh, Greeks learn from us as well. And they've been doing the same thing with hiding history and everything else. And how you know that is not by who the people they put out there today. Look at the people who fit the curses. Look for the people who fit these circumstances. Look for the ones who have gone through the things that this church has done. Let's take a look. Let's take a look here first at this uh, comment right here. My son of Yah right there. Same psychological profile as the fallen angels. Sexualizing women. Causing giants in the earth. Second guessing, what, um, second guessing that choice knowing excruciating consequences would arrive, okay? And that's exactly what's going on right now. The whole world is realizing that, yay, man, you know, this party is not going to continue. You know, Jesus is not going to keep, let the party keep going and, you know, turn the water into wine let the water keep, and let, let the party keep going. That's not what's going to happen. They know and they can feel it in their spirit that there are excruciating consequences that are coming. There are big changes that are coming. Yet, no, uh, China's not taking over. Russia's not taking over. Other Gentile nations are not taking over. That's not what's on the ducat. You know, that's not what's on tap right now. Okay? What's on tap is the Most High is going to, re uh, is going to reveal his people. And he's going to restore his people. That's where we are at right now. You're starting to see how that's already starting to play out right now. We're moving around right now and we're being blessed. I said because the blessings have come, are coming back to us. And the other people are still trying to figure out why all things are all of a sudden just aren't going well for them. Why all of a sudden the things that have just always worked out for them aren't seeming to work out like that anymore. Because your blessing has left you. The blessing is now coming back to the true people and the curses are switching over to you. We're going to take a look here at this book, Irish Wisdom, Preserved in Bible and Pyramids. And, you know, people would be like, oh, man, that, Bible, that book, that's just another book, man. That's, you know, there's, there's nothing in that book. Well, if there's nothing in this book, let's, let's take a look at how much this book costs. If there's nothing of importance in this book, why do you think this little itty bitty book is going for twenty three hundred dollars? You know, and I mean, it's, it goes in real hard on the churches, real hard on the Catholic Church. You know, it's like, why would this book be so expensive if it's just full of a bunch of BS? And if it's, you know, if it's all it's all just a bunch of garbage. Right. You know, I said, be wary of the books that they just want to give you for free. The ones you can get for a couple bucks. It's these ones that have these high price tags or the ones that have the true information. A lot of the information that these people have been trying to hide. But let's take a look. Now let's take a look at what these priests have done. And let's see, you know, it talks about, you know, Psalms 83. And pretty much just making Israel like a, not a name. Like no one's going to know who they are. Let's check this out. Uh, right here in this paragraph here. The priests were employed in writing and concocting a false history. One that would contain... I would not contain any mention of the nature of her former greatness. I'm talking about the Celts, okay? Or the achievements and discoveries for which the whole civilized world is indebted to her. The very discoveries of the arts and sciences, credit for which discoveries would make any people great, were denied her in the new histories. And the credit was given mainly to, the, to Greece. You see, that's why you get all these people who are always talking, want to run to the Greeks. So that dude is running around his mouth before is always, oh, well, the Greek, the Greek. Bro, the Greeks are just, all they did was took our information and just attributed it to the Greeks. So that you would feel like you've actually accomplished something. But that's been, that's what you guys have been doing this entire time. So again, so we're denied here or her in the new histories and the credit was given mainly to Greece with other transfers already mentioned. But we say that it was in Ireland that our civilization arose and that it was there that the uh, cereals were developed from the grasses. It was on this island that barley was first grown, the grain, okay, that is particularly associated with the life of an abstinentious priesthood. Here we find also the birthplace of mathematics, geometry, navigation, astronomy, medicine, chemistry, and the arts, which are commonly called Egyptian. British lexigraph lexigraph lexigraphers <laughs> and others taking their cue from them and giving the uh, derivation of the word chemistry. Okay, hold on. Reforms Egyptian, Greek, Latin, or even a Dutch or German root for it. But Cleland, hold on. Okay, quoted in Webster's Dictionary, derives it from the Celtic root 
word chem, right there, chem or fire, which is the true derivation, as fire is the chemical agency in all nature. The Celtic master adepts established that science on its true basis. It was in Ireland that the sciences were brought to perfection, and the names under which this uh, fact is masked, such as Egyptian, Chaldean, Phoenician, Cushite, Ethiopian, etc., are only names devised by the priests to deceive. This will be shown later on. And just to show you that Pythagoras and these guys were actually learning from the Druids, they weren't learning from you know, everything from the Egyptians. They were also learning from the Druids, which is also something that is hidden. Check out this book here from called Ireland, Ur of the Chaldees. That the Hebrew and Irish languages reciprocate many of their words is as true as that the people who once spoke Hebrew had a common origin with those called Celts. First, by the Greeks, who were nearly innocent of who the uh, Gadolans or Gaels were and of their country, even in the time of Pythagoras, who nevertheless has acknowledged he, has, uh, he was taught much of his philosophy by one of their country, the Druid Aberus. This fact has had the advantage of uh, special authentication. And if we are to see anything in it, it is that there was a high state of civilization and learning in the land of Aberus. Okay. So like I said, it's, it's, a, it's totally um, consistent with the things that they've done. You know, this is why Yahweh I said he came for the lost sheep of the house of Israel because we were lost because everyone has gone out of their way to hide who we are. They give everyone else, you know, our identity. They say that everything was attributed to these people and these people. Do you understand? Enoch was given all knowledge and understanding. He was given all information. It was passed down to his posterity. So it's going to be the people who are descended from Enoch who are going to have all this information. They're quick to give uh credit to any other nation, but they're never going to give it to the true people of Israel. They're, that's why we don't have a history, because they've taken our history and given it to everyone else. But that's all coming to an end. See, the Most High has now turned his face back to us, just like he said he was going to. You see, the prophecies are starting to be fulfilled, just like he said they were going to be. You know what I'm saying? He said that he was going to be, re, you know, restoring us as a people. And that's exactly what you're seeing. And he's also going to be bringing you guys down. Now, you have to understand, like, when you guys had the Indian Removal Act, you guys just came in and you said, okay, you guys need to leave. And you guys just walked in and took over our homes. You took over our possessions. And you just, you know, we just got to leave with the, with the clothes on our back. Now, you, just because you've hidden these histories, you don't think the Most High is about to do the same thing to you? When you read Joel chapter 2 and you have a good understanding, it talks about how the Most High is going to be removing this army off of the land, how he's going to be restoring the land. And he's going to be, everyone's going to be going back to their lands. They're going to be going back to the lands that they were given, you know, during the time of Noah when, they, when he gave up the inheritance to the three sons. Everyone was given their own lands, okay? And it talks about that in the scriptures, how everyone's going to be going back to their own lands. So don't worry. I mean, you're going to be getting evicted soon enough. And the Most High is going to give everything back to his people. It has nothing to do with what I believe. It has nothing to do with what you believe. See, all the histories you've been taught, they give you those books for free. You can get those. You can go pick up those books at Barnes and Nobles or wherever else for 20, 30 bucks. You can get they'll, they'll regurgitate all the things that you want to hear in those books. But these other books that have all this other information that you have been trying to hide are very, very expensive and very difficult to get. And that's been set up for a reason. See, you've been that allowed you to, you know, live your life, enjoy your blessings while you were in your blessings. But now that is coming to an end. Now, all of a sudden, Most High has given us all this information back and he's keeping you silent. You're not I don't see anyone coming out and making videos trying to prove any of this information wrong because you're not going to be able to. You know, I said you have a track record and your track record is pretty much to rape, rob, murder, steal, cover it up. Rape, rob, murder, steal, cover it up. Don't bring it up. Hey, man, don't bring that up. Don't, don't bring that information up. You know, that's not cool of you. Don't, don't bring that up. You know, you're, you're not going to let us allow us to enjoy our blessing. Well, the time of you enjoying your blessings has come to an end. And as you can see, it's the same thing over and over again. You take things and then you attribute it to other people. Oh, it's okay, man. It, it can be any other Gentile group. You can say it's Arabs. You can say it's Ethiopians. You can say it's Egyptians. You love to say it's the Greeks. But see, with these other books, it shows you that they already have admitted that the Greeks stole everything from the Egyptians. No, they stole everything from the Hebrews. Oh, well, the, well, the, the Celtic, the Celtic, those aren't the same people that, are there, that were there thousands of years ago. Just like the same Americans that are here aren't the sons that have been here thousands of years ago as well. Nothing new under the sun. Shalom.